Today I'm going to Battle Cancer London. <laughs> I've been invited by the Food Spring team to compete with them. I don't know who's gonna be in my team, <laughs> but it's gonna be really exciting. I've never done battle cancer before. It's an event that happens worldwide and helps raise money for people living with cancer. My name's Beth and I'm an everyday CrossFit athlete. I post vlogs, I post about competitions and stuff in the CrossFit news. It's such a great cause and I've always wanted to go, but I live quite far away from London, so I've had to travel for like six hours to get here, <laughs> but it will be worth it. When we feel like we wanna compete, it's so easy to get into the mind that we're not good enough, we're not fit enough, we don't look like an athlete enough. All of that can get in the way of us having these incredible experiences. And today, honestly, I'm feeling a little bit that way. Like, I don't know who's gonna be in my team. It might be a load of like mega athletes that are like amazing, because obviously I'm doing it with a brand. I'm more of a like lifestyle crossfitter. I do it for fun, for enjoyment and for fitness. And normally when I'm doing a competition, I will go with a team that are like the same kind of attitude to me. But this time I, I have literally no idea who I'm gonna be in a team with so <laughs> my only worries are they'll think I should be better than I am but battle cancer is like an inclusive event I don't think there's any like complex gymnastics or barbell a lot of body weight some like machine stuff and then some like light weight like ground overhead and kettlebell swings I've also got quite a lot of like social anxiety and I'm going on my own so this is huge for me sometimes it's not just the competition that's the scary part it's actually going and being in a room with like hundreds of people that you don't know like that that for me is hard it doesn't really get easier but you know that the anxiety is gonna pass within the first workout or the first couple of hours so that's what I'm hoping for <laughs> right I will see you at the comp so I'm here Battle Cancer London it's crazy it's like not very busy just yet but you can tell it's gonna get really busy look at the space this is where the workouts are gonna happen there's loads and loads of teams. It's gonna be super exciting. I still don't know who's in my team. <laughs> I don't know what the workouts are yet, but I think we're gonna have a briefing soon and they'll go through all of that. I am feeling a little bit less nervous now I'm actually here. Oh, look, there's so many kettlebells. I don't know what that's for. We've got some D-balls and a rope. I love a D-ball, but I don't know what the rope's for. Hopefully not running. <laughs> Good morning. Two, one. ability and if the athlete can't do one of the movements they don't have to. The point of this whole event is to raise money for cancer charities and it is amazing. At the beginning Scott was saying that last year they raised over a million pounds for cancer charities and this year hopefully we'll break that record. This happens all over the world, there are loads of battle cancers that you can do and I definitely recommend it. It's so exciting so far, I can't wait to show you the workout.
So that's workout one done. That was so much fun. I only had to do the 400 meters because I'm not a runner. I loved the D board. Yeah, it was good. We got quite a lot of D boards done. My day strain is already at like a 12, <laughs> which is crazy because I've only done one workout and it was only nine minutes. <laughs> the main thing that I can take away from this so far is that battle cancer is so inclusive. The atmosphere is amazing and people are raising so much money for lots of different cancer charities and that is so cool. So the next workout we've got has got some dumbbell dead lift, dumbbell shoulder to overhead, um, some rowing, just some other fun stuff. I love competing generally because it's a completely different vibe to like a competition where everyone is just like competing to win. Sorry, my battery died. There's like gyms with like 50 teams here, huge groups of people from all different walks of life, different, even different sports. Like not everyone here is from CrossFit, which I think is really cool. So grab together like your community and bring them here because it's so much fun, especially if you've not done a competition before. I think this is the perfect one to do. So I'm about to go on for our next one. Whoa, whoa. That was so much fun. We have lost the team member. Gus has gone home. We were down to three for that one, but I think we might be up to four for the next one. So that'll be good. I love that they gave the option of like using two hands or one hand with the dumbbell, because that means if the weight is too heavy for you, then you can use two hands to push it overhead. Our next one, I think, is the ground to overhead with the box jumps. And I love a box jump. I'm pretty much excited about all of the movements in this competition because I love most of them. My anxiety has really dropped. I'm just around like lovely people, having the best time. It's so cool for Food Spring to have sponsored this event. And it's been so nice to meet so many of you that have come up to me and like told me your story about how you started wearing the shorts or feeling better about your body, realise that you can compete no matter what size you are. The reason we do fitness is for us and it's not for anybody else. I would love to just like liberate as many women as possible <laughs> and make them feel like they can do hard things, they can tackle their anxiety, they can compete in competitions like this, have the best time and wear whatever they want. So yeah, that's been one of the best parts of today is just meeting you guys. <laughs> On to the next workout. Let's see what happens. Go!
so we didn't do the last workout. We actually ended up going home early because the other two that had come in for that last workout had to go home again, basically had no team left. <laughs> and the reason we were all mismatched throughout the day, our team didn't stay the same, was because everybody was there last minute. It was just a team of like content creators and influencers coming in to support the event and support Food Spring. Ordinarily, if you did it as a team, you would do every single workout and it would be the exact same team the whole way through. And also in the last workout, I know full well we weren't in sync for a lot of the movements, mainly the ground to overhead. And the teammates that are in my team were such lovely people and it was so nice to work out with them. And they had the best, most positive attitude coming into it, but they'd never done like a CrossFit competition before or a kind of fitness competition like that. So they didn't really understand what synchro movement was, which is totally fine. Like I said, the whole event is inclusive, all types of people and the judges were not strict on stuff like being synchro. We had very little time to explain what that is before we went into the workout. And our judge just basically let it slide because he knew it's a just for fun event and it's not that serious but ordinarily in competitions I would be like fully in sync I take all the rules seriously and all of that but this event was different and they did really well to participate so don't give me any like bat signals in the comments below or no reps please but I think that's one thing that's really comforting as well is if you go to a battle cancer event and you're not used to competing you'll know you're not going to be very harshly judged that it's not really about that if you're worried about being judged in a workout then if you go to an event like battle cancer you know it's going to be a wholly nice experience and people aren't going to like have a go at you if you do like a million no reps. <laughs> so the main thing that we all want to know is how much did Battle Cancer raise? Battle Cancer London, your fundraising totals are in, but you have fundraised way over £260,000 for your charities this year. Battle Cancer athletes have fundraised a million pounds. Over the years so far they have already raised over a million pounds which is insane and that's all going to cancer charities. I don't know the stats on that but that must be one of the biggest fundraising events for cancer charities across the world. If you want to do something like that I massively encourage you to have a go. I fully crashed the day after. I had to drive six hours home overnight and got lost somewhere in Devon. It was a nightmare. Struggled a little bit with my mental health. I have like post-competition blues quite a lot and I had that over the last couple of days. I'm now starting to feel my again which is really good. The content on YouTube has slowed down a little bit and that is because I'm coming to the end of my personal training qualification. I'm already a qualified gym instructor and I sell programs with my partner who's been a qualified PT for 12 years. So these are programs that will help you get your first pull up, help you increase your squat so you've got massive strong legs like me. I'm just finishing off my personal training qualification so I can give a more personalised approach to anybody looking into getting into fitness or improving in certain things which is really exciting. I might do a couple of videos around the Rogue Invitational. It might be a bit more CrossFit news based or sit down and chatty but then into November I plan to ramp up the posting schedule and you'll be getting a lot more videos from me. Let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see. If you'd like to watch another competition vlog here's another one where we literally tried to win. You'll have to watch it to find out the outcome. Fist bump that like button if you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys!